Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you my recent LD Waxy Wonders haul. I have ordered from her plenty of times before, so I won't go into too much. Just a basic rundown. So the owner's name is Jennifer. Um, she is super sweet. She has amazing customer service and she does everything. She does scoopable, she does shapes, she does clamshells, scent shots, pre-orders which is what when you order and then you have to wait to get your order or she does ready to ship which is you order and then you get your order within a week or two so pre-orders are good for patient people who don't like to rush and hurry up and have to get what they want you know like hunger game style ordering and ready to ship is good for people who are impatient and want to get their stuff right away so yeah, she's super fast in everything. She does customs as well. She does custom scoopables, custom doggy bags, and custom, you know, the, she just did an opening for a custom, like one single shape, which is awesome because that never happens. Also, her shipping varies from $6.50 in a padded flat rate envelope all the way up to, I guess, depending on how huge your order is. So that is awesome because y'all know I hate paying for shipping so 650 I love because if you want to place a small order you can place a small order without having to worry about your shipping being more expensive than your actual order she also does offer polypropylene bags and bakery bags of different sizes so let's just go ahead and jump right in now that I have rambled off a bit I got three samples here this first one is coconut vanilla and it's a really nice kind of tropical coconut scent but that vanilla really sweetens it up so that's a good one this next one here is berry fluff cake and this is a nice one as well I mostly get like the fruity berry note as opposed to a bakery I don't really get any bakery on cold at least and this next one is sweet pea and this one pretty much smells exactly like the body care so that is that those are the samples that I got Next, I'll talk about the polypropylene bags. So I love polypropylene bags. I go through them like crazy, especially this size. This size is good if you're gonna put, if you wanna do a random act of kindness, or if you're doing a de-stash or whatever and you need to put like a small shape, like even one of these would fit in a four by four if you're just gonna put in one. Um, so four by fours are the, sh uh, the sizes that I go through the quickest. I got 50. So 50 four by four polypropylene bags is gonna cost you $2.50. I think that's a great price. So I always purchase my polypropylene bags from any, I like any sizes. She has other sizes as well. I purchase them from Elfie Waxy Wonders. Now the next thing she offers are bakery bags. These are the small ones. So these are good for like 14 ounce loaves or smaller, you know, smaller um, loaves. Or if you have like other bags and maybe the bag tour or, you know, just something that you don't need a ginormous bag for these are great because sometimes you don't need a whole huge bag and then you have like all this space free so you can get 10 bakery bags here and i got 10 small bakery bags for two dollars and 75 cents so i think this is also a great price now let me show you the difference this is the large um bakery bag and as you can see the large and the small they're both lined they're both lined bags so that's great, you know that you're, you're, it's gonna like last. So this is the large size, this is a small size. It is a huge difference, but I mean, you're, go you're using them for two different you know, purposes. I use the large ones for like 18 ounce loaves or larger, anything that has like a lot, a lot of wax, I use these for. So these large bakery bags, they are going to run you $3.30 for a pack of 10. If you need 10 large ones, you can get 10 for $3.30. So I think her pricing is amazing. Even for her wax, her pricing is amazing. So I feel like I'm talking at like lightning speed and I don't know. Like, yeah, I guess I always kind of talk fast if I'm in a good mood. Anyways, um, Sweet Lavender Sea Kelp. This is the first thing I got. This is my first time getting like these little bunt shapes. So you come with two packs of these bunts. One bunt weighs 2.5 ounces, so you're getting five ounces in total, and you're only paying four dollars for one of these. Um, I mean, for a two pack. So for this order right here is four dollars, and you're getting five ounces of wax. And this smells really good. You can get the sweet. Uh, you can actually get both very well. When I first smelled it, I mostly got that sea kelp. 
but now that it's been curing for a while, I have, I can smell the sweet lavender and the sea kelp. I do think that the sea kelp, which is kind of like an aquatic note to me at least, I feel like that is the, the like the strongest note and then you can get the sweet lavender. But it's not overly sweet. So that is that. And then the rest are these fluted tarts, a four pack of fluted tarts. These each weigh about an ounce, either a little bit under or a little bit over, but pretty much as close to an ounce as you're gonna get. They're four to a pack and they cost $3.50. So you're getting at least four ounces of wax for only $3.50. So her wax is priced like the pricing of her wax is great, and then her shipping on top is just great. So this one is Jupiter Skies, which is Spring Breeze, Satsuma, and Sugar Cubes. And this smells really, really good. You can get the Satsuma. For me, the Satsuma is what I smell the most, but it's not like a punch you in the face citrusy scent because you get that Spring Breeze. And I don't really get like sugar cubes, but you know, it just smells like a nice, sweet, uh, citrusy, fresh scent. It's really, really nice. If you want to try Satsuma, but you're kind of afraid of oranges, that's a good one to try because the Satsuma is not as strong as it is in other blends. This is my favorite from the order, I think. This one is called Zelda, and it is fresh cut grass, blackberries, and spring breeze. This one smells so so good oh it smells so so good you can get the juicy fruitiness from the blackberries but then you can get the freshness from the spring breeze and then you can get a little bit of that fresh cut grass the fresh cut grass note is not like overly green and overly like strong or dominant it's beautiful it is a beautiful blend and i if i if it smells as great as it does on cold i mean on warm i would totally repurchase that this one is, I don't know, that's it right there. I don't know how you pronounce that. But it's lavender, lemon, and chamomile. This one, it smells nice, but something in here smells bakery. Like, I don't know if it's the lemon, like if she used like a bakery lemon, like a lemon meringue, or it's kind of reminds me of that, like a lemon meringue or like a lemon custard or something. I don't know, but it smells bakery. Like if you like a bakery lemon, I feel like you will like this because it, it smells like a bakery, it has like a bakery note to me. This next one is King Triton and it is Black Sea Tides, Mac Apples, and Sea Kelp. And this one smells so good. Oh, it smells so fresh and so good. It just smells like the, like a fresh, mac apple scent it almost kind of reminds me of the omen from super tarts which is mac apple ocean breeze and vanilla bean noel it almost kind of reminds me of that oh it smells really really good that's another if you like mac apple scents or you like fresh scents that's another really good one this next one here is don't fear the reaper which is warm vanilla sugar bath and Oh, warm vanilla sugar bath and body work type and fuzzy socks and hoodies which I think fuzzy socks and hoodies is juniper berries creamy vanilla sage and dew so it's all that stuff in this one and this one smells really 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 good I was afraid it was gonna smell perfumey because of that warm vanilla sugar but it smells really good. It smells like the outdoors on like a fall night, I guess you can say. it's That's a very dramatic description, but I guess that's the best way I can describe it because it smells really good. Oh, that's, that's the best way for me to describe it, like the outdoors on a fall night. <laughs> and then the last thing that I have in my order is just plain old fuzzy socks and hoodies. Fuzzy socks and hoodies, which is juniper berries, creepy vanilla, sage, and dew. I don't know. I feel like I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. And this one smells really good as well. 
the other one had like a more like a, a warmth to it I guess you can say and this one just smells it does smell like fresh like a fresh fall day it definitely reminds me of fall when you smell it so that is a really awesome one this has to be like my favorite order from L3 that I've ever placed I am excited with everything that I got and uh, yeah if you guys have not checked her out you should definitely check her out if you're looking for a place to buy polypropylene bags or bakery bags definitely check her out as well she does have sales and I will leave her Facebook group her Instagram and her website down below her website is pretty much always open you could pretty much order something at all times so thank you guys again for watching please feel free to comment like and subscribe oh and I will say before I head off this one I will probably cut in three pieces or if you are a generous melter you could probably cut it in half since it is 2.5 ounces you could probably get I would say at least three melts but you can also just cut it in half and get two solid melts out of that one and then the rest I would most likely just chunk this whole piece into a warmer since it is an ounce I would also use um, a 24 watt warmer for these is pretty much what I always use because a lot of people ask me what warmers I use so I would use a 24 watt warmer but that's it so thank you guys so much for watching have a great day